Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. For those who are new here, Dr. Harrison posts content based on important topics for PG preparation. If you are a medico, then it's absolutely for you. Now let's see our case. Lily, a 27-year-old woman comes to her OPD with her little baby. She complains of recurrent respiratory infection and pain over maxillary sinus. Our doctors prescribed medications and the infection was cured, but in next two days Lily returned with her baby with the same complaint. Now our doctor performed chest x-ray. Now he was able to come to the diagnosis with it. What is the diagnosis? Hurry up the time is running. The answer is Cartagener syndrome, or primary ciliary dyskinesia, or immatile cilia syndrome. What is Cartagener syndrome? It is a genetic defect in dynanar which renders the cilia immatile. It is inherited as autosomal recessive disease. Now let's see the normal physiology. The cross-section of cilia is shown. It is made up of two central microtubule and nine duplex of peripheral microtubules. The peripheral microtubule are connected by a protein called nexin. Each set of microtubule has one inner and one outer dynanar. Dynane contains apis which provides energy for motility of ciliary. Cilia in turn help in mucociliary clearance. Dynane also helps internal rotation of organ during embryonic life, pathophysiology. Due to mutation in dynane arm cilia becomes immatile. In respiratory tract, it can't clear the, the mucus and harbors more pathogen resulting in recurrent sinusitis and bronchiectasis. There are situs inverses, but note transposition of great vessels, due to incomplete embryonic rotation. In male, the sperm becomes immatile as flagella has the same structure of cilia. Hence they are rendered infertile. In female, the cilia and the fallopian tube is non-functional, but ova is moved by contraction of fallopian tube, hence in female it doesn't cause infertility. A similar condition is Young syndrome, which is also due to ciliary dyskinesia. It is characterized by triad of sinusitis plus bronchiectasis plus obstructive azospermia. That's all for today. Hope you have learned something new. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates. Now, today's question. What is Hoax syndrome? Comment down your answers. Catch you up in the next video. Until then it's bye from Dr. Harrison.